Captain Tube Stakes. This crystal reading is off the charts, baby. It looks like there's two on a planet called Iacon 1. With that many in one place, do you think we should skip it or find backup for the crew? You make a great point there, Gorgeous, but I'd like to see what these pricks are capable of. Send out a spy drone with their shuttle and keep an eye on them, doll. Daddy needs to get some sleep. I've been up for a week straight smoking that amazing meth called Icon 1, and I don't think it has any relationship to that planet, baby. <laughs> aye, aye, Captain. Lost in Rapes After decimating up the Too Many Rapes Penitentiary, the city of Rapesville, and the entire planet Earth, a giant beam of light shot Frankie Tube Stakes, Doc Rapenstein, Brian Rioni, The Driz, The Warden, Daxter Coxman, and the teenage mutant ninja gerbils up into a UFO, hovering above where the planet once stood. This is their one and only chance to fix everything. They are Lost in Rapes. Too Many Rapes is filmed in front of a live studio audience. As the Rape Force shuttle flies towards Iacon 1, Phantom Boner is getting to be too much for the team to handle. God damn it, Phantom Boner. Why are you, aren't you wearing your spandex, you cunt? Yo, yo, yo. My dick is so big, I can't even wear my tights anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Cover yourself up, you son of a bitch. That's against Rape Force regulations. Yo, fuck you, Brian. You're just afraid I'm gonna rape you again, motherfucker. And those nasty fucking animals aren't wearing any pants. Is that up to regulations enough for you? Yeah. Oh, he, he make good point, Brian. Yeah, guys, we all gotta work together. Don't shame this man for having a glorious cock. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. I got your regulations right here, bitch. Yeah. For the rest of the flight, Phantom Boner raped Brian. When they finally landed on Iacon 1, they exited the shuttle and hitchhiked to the capital city where the giant crystal stood. They found the Queen's castle and entered her throne room. That cunt was smoking meth and had all sorts of crazy eye makeup on her stupid face. Oh, MFG, guys. That bitch is beautiful. Let me handle this. Yeah. The pantsless Phantom Boner approached the throne with his new cock throbbing because of the crystals and also due to the fact that he wanted to fuck the dirty meth head. He turned on his boombox and sang a really girly love song. Yeah, girl. Yo, you got rainbows in your eyes. Yeah, it makes me fucking hot. Yeah, my dick is so hard because of the rainbows in your eyes. Yeah, do you feel it? Because I'm putting it in your anus right now. Yeah, I hope you fucking feel that. It's because of those rainbows in your eyes. The rest of you is fucking flugging. But you know what? There's fucking rainbows in your eyes. You can't beat that. I don't know. It doesn't matter how fat you are. It doesn't matter that you're disgusting. It doesn't matter that you smell like shit because you got rainbows in your eyes, girl. Yeah, and I'm going to fuck you really hard. Yeah. Why don't you turn your head while I'm doing your doggy style so I can see those rainbows in your eyes. The queen, being a drugged out whore of a woman, took Phantom Bona up to her private chambers. He fucked her, smoked meth, and fucked her again. An hour later, he decided that he was going to marry her and rule Iacon 1 by her side. He had her guards seize rape force and lock them in the deepest, darkest dungeon.
Guys, this is fucking horrible. I knew that piece of shit would turn on us at some point. What are we gonna do? I, I don't know, Brian. I don't have my communicator. Watch with me. I traded it for some of that sweet meth on the ride into town. God damn it. I did the same thing. Dongatel, do you think you can reach your paw in the lock panel and deactivate it? Sorry, mate. We gerbils don't crawl inside anything that isn't an asshole. It's the gerbil code. We're the Teenage Mutant Ninja Gerbils. Heroes in your asshole. Gerbil power! You must respect animal rules, Brian. Give me that meth I think of a plan. Greaser smoked the rest of Brian's meth and raped them both and Daxter almost to death. And when he came down from being high, he fell asleep. Meanwhile, on Rape Force One, Frankie was awakened by the loveliest voice in the universe. Wake the fuck up, baby. Rape Force is in trouble. Uh, what the fuck happened, sexy? It was Phantom Boner. He fell in love with the meth head cunt in charge of Iacon 1 and imprisoned the rest of the crew so he could marry her. Uh, God damn it. When, when we get back, make sure you lock him away for a while. Uh, hold on, gorgeous. I'm just going to extract some data for a minute. Frankie copied the spaceship's artificial intelligence to a USB thumb drive and inserted it into a gorgeous female robot body. A moment later, the robot's eyes opened and she spoke. Mmm, fuck. You picked the perfect body for me, Captain. I can't wait to really test it out after the mission in your private chambers. Frankie and the spaceship beamed themselves into the middle of the Meth Queen's throne room during the wedding ceremony and within minutes massacred every guest and god in the place. In front of the wedding podium, Fanta Boner had the queen bent over and was fucking her right at the altar. The sexy Fembob did a triple somersault, leaped high into the air, drew her sword, and she came down and sliced Fanta Boner's nude cock clean off. As they lay in fetal position, bleeding and crying like a bitch, the meth queen pushed the bloody severed cock out of her nasty vagina and rolled it across the throne room floor. Her eye makeup started glowing brightly in anger, and she lunged at Frankie. But the Fembot cut her off and said, No one fucks with my man, you fucking cunt. Frankie and the spaceship released their crew from the cell, beamed up to the Rape Force One, and both crystals locked Phantom Boner in solitary and retired to Frankie's chambers for a month. That's too many rapes. <laughs>